OK, so in this question we need to break it up into a couple of different component parts, one of which is a cone and the other of which is the hemisphere, and then work out the volume separately and then add them together towards the end. However, before we start that, what we're going to do is just draw a quick sketch to give us an idea of what this particular component is going to look like. So uh, my sketching isn't fantastic, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. I've got a cone at the top here. And then at the bottom of that cone, I've got a small hemisphere. So it kind of looks like an ice cream cone um, upside down. OK, now this is where I think sketching does really help with these sorts of questions, because you need to kind of get a, an idea of how they've put the dimensions together. So the first thing is the overall height is 14 centimetres. Well, that's fine. So I'm going to write 14 there and that's my overall height. OK, and then it says that the radius of the cone and hemisphere is four centimetres. So I hope this is going to come across on the video OK, but if you imagine that what we've got is the hemisphere at the bottom and the radius is going to be this dimension here, which is going to be four. OK, now what that means is, is that if that dimension is four, it also means that the depth the radius here is also going to be four centimetres. And that's quite important because it means then that the height of our cone is actually 10 centimetres. I hope you can see that OK on the video. We've got 10 centimetres for the cone and four centimetres for the radius of the hemisphere. OK, so that gives us all the information that we need. And we need to then just be able to put this into the formulas for working out volumes. So the first thing is the volume of the cone. OK, well, um, usually in the front of the exam paper or from any information that you've got, um, the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. OK, and what I'm going to do is put all that information in. Now I'm going to use the um, pi on my calculator, um, which is a little bit more accurate than 3.142 that you get given in some exams. So um, it's going to be slightly different, but will be a little bit more accurate. So it's a third pi r squared, which is 4 squared times the height, which is 10. Put that into a calculator, I'm going to get 167.55 centimetres cubed. OK, then I've got the volume of the hemisphere, which is this bottom piece here. Well, actually, it's not really um, a formula that copes with that other than the volume of the sphere. And then what we're going to do is halve it. So we've got volume of sphere. OK, and that is, uh, again, you'll find this on your formula sheet, which is 4 third pi r cubed. OK, so I'll put the numbers into that and I end up with 4 thirds times pi and again 4 for the radius, but cubed this time. So it means then that if this was an overall sphere, in other words, a, a ball, then it would be an overall volume of 268 0.08. However, it's not. It's only half of it, so we're just going to half it, and that's going to give me the volume of the hemisphere of 13404 centimetres cubed. So those are the two numbers that I need, uh, one of which for the cone, one of which for the sphere. If I add those two together, I'm going to get a total, which is going to be 167.55. Add that to 134. 0.04 and that's going to give me a total of 301.59 centimetres cubed. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Please do uh, like, subscribe, uh, add a comment below and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.